What's your name? My name is Basim Barmaki. And uh, where are you from? We are from Lebanon. Is that your flag? Yes, that's our flag. What's your impression of Poland? Uh, it's a nice country, uh, green, uh, nice air. Mm. And you volunteering? Yes, is that and your is your first World Youth Day and you volunteering? How come you didn't decide to be a pilgrim? Uh, because it's our fir- world uh, first World Youth Day, we've uh, decided to be to be volunteers, not pilgrims. So we can have the hard tasks at first, then we come as pilgrims to uh, to enjoy other uh, countries as uh, tourists, not only volunteers and working. Mm-hmm. So you you planning this is not be your only World Youth Day? Yes, yes, and uh, most of us will uh, have another World Youth Day. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, can you finish the sentence for me and repeat it as well? So I'm gonna say the first half. Jesus, I trust in you because. Jesus, I trust in you because you're the way. Okay. And can you say it in your mother language? Uh, this is really really amazing because. Uh, there are m- many people from all the world and uh, I-, I love meeting people from all the world and there are many cultures, many languages and so different stories and yes, I, I-, I love it. Maybe sometimes there are some difficulties but <laughs> because we are many people but yeah. I love it, yes. Mm-hmm. What's your name? I'm Anna. And where are you from? Italy, Padua. Is this your first World Youth Day? Uh, I've been in Madrid, but it's my first World Youth Day as a, a volunteer. Mm-hmm. And uh, how come you decide to be a volunteer this time? I've decided to be a volunteer because I loved my experience as a, a pilgrim and uh, I just wanted to live a new experience and to do something to help to organize this amazing day. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's your name? I'm Martin. And where are you from? I'm from France in Gr- uh, Grenoble, <laughs> in the Alps. <laughs> and is this your first World Youth Day? Yes, it's my first World Youth Day. Uh, I'm just 18. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want, if I come here, it's to, to find myself and my soul, to find the love of God, of God and the fall of the Spirit inside me, mm-hmm. and to meet all the I find so, I find amazing to meet so much people in the same city with all the flags and mm-hmm. so much joys and yeah. yeah everyone speaks to everyone it's a kind of you know fraternity mm-hmm. I don't know if you can say it <laughs> there is like a brotherhood mm-hmm. brotherhood sorry And what's your impression of Poland? Um, I like the your very um, p- uh, your 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 religion is very um, deep. Deep, yeah. Man. You have a lot of yeah. I like your the ar- architecture and the color of the buildings. That's quite strange. In France, we call that kitsch, <laughs> you know. But here, it's very beautiful and it's kind of traditional and I like that yeah I like could you uh, repeat and finish the sentence for me Jesus I trust in you because Jesus I trust in you because you love everyone can you say it in French as well Jesus je crois en toi car tu aimes tout le monde thank you What's your name? John Madigan. And where are you from, John? Chicago, Illinois. How do you experience Divine Mercy in your life? Divine Mercy through through my friends. I've made... If Without my friends, I would not be here. I would not be at the school I'm going to. I would probably be at the public school and losing my faith. And I would not be, you know, going to the center at all every week. Um, because of my friends, I have become a lot closer to God and I, I, it's because of them that I can realize that God exists. 
and uh, do you experience like uh, the power of Divine Mercy prayer and uh, Sister Faustina in your life? Um, well, when I pray, it just gives me gives me a feeling of comfort. You know, mm -hmm. um, you just know that you're setting your problems into the hands of someone who can take care of them that will pull through and who loves you so how do you experience divine mercy in your life mm. hmm. that's a good question just uh, I don't know uh, respecting uh, everyone um, and yes uh, trying to be as helpful to people as, uh, as possible yeah yeah um, I need to be really happy with what I have and um, I do have a lot like in my family and I have nice opportunities so in that way yeah I'm inc so so happy with that yeah what's your name my name is Lubaba and where do you come from I came from Siberia from Russia from Novosibirsk and uh, what's your uh, impression of Poland now that you've been here for, for some time? Well, I, I can tell what I really feel. It was like that I'm in heaven because uh, um, in Russia, you know, there are not a lot of people who are really religious and everybody is ashamed to talk about it. And we don't uh, have anything which is consist religion. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it was strange that a lot of so beautiful and young people are going to church and they, are, they want to talk about it. And that just people come in here and they are already open to any conversations about I don't know, you just can come to anybody and ask where you came from, why do you believe in God and what do you do here, and it will be okay. Mm -hmm. It's my impression. So you are missing this openness, this like faith community where you come from? Well, I know that Russia is just different and it will be never like this and uh, uh, I just know that it will be a little bit difficult to make myself to live in another society after this meeting because you cannot uh, come to anyone on the street to just say hello it will be strange and here you can say hello anyone mm -hmm. and everybody will be happy to talk with you. Jesus, I trust in you because? Jesus, I trust in you because I have no choice. Can you, can you say that in uh, Russian? Jesus, I believe in you because I have no choice. Can I just ask you, like, why, why did you say that? Because if I want to, I don't know, survive, so I have to believe. And... Uh, I don't know, if I want something to change in my life, I have to believe. Mm -hmm. The most important thing that I understood in these like, months here that I was always uh, trying to find uh, love and anything somewhere else and I didn't know about Jesus and now I am just know that he could um, be on that place uh, to give me love and all of this that I have known from others and it's necessary for mm -hmm. me, so I have to believe.